This is Heather Green, whiskey expert and author of Whiskey Distilled, A Populist Guide to the Water of Life. And this is the series of videos that bring that book to life because a lot of us really don't have an attention span to read, myself included right now. There's a lot going on in the world. Uh, it has not been easy for any of us, but one thing that remains constant is the art of whiskey making. So escape with me um, and enjoy this series and become your own whiskey aficionado. I am so passionate about whiskey and this is my job to make you passionate about it too. There's a reason why I love it. Uh, it's an art form, it's, it's earth, it's air, it's sky, it's humidity, it's rain, it's people coming together to make something really, really beautiful. And you can explore that in your store down, down, the, uh, down the street. You can pick some whiskeys up and, and really learn about the beautiful art form that is whiskey. Now, the last couple of classes, we talked about distillation. And I, as much as I want to move on from distillation, because I'm really excited to get into uh, casking and bourbon and all that kind of stuff, we have to stay on distillation for one more class. So we learn about the pot still distillation. If you remember, distillation doesn't produce alcohol. It concentrates alcohol, right? So if you remember, we're agitating that liquid to create that vapor because different molecules have different volatilizing uh, or boiling points that are going to uh, basically evaporate up over that, uh, whatever it is that they use to uh, condense that liquid, because you'll have different methods of condensing and then dripping that down the other end. That whole process is distillation. So we did that in a pot still. We talked about a column still. I didn't tell you yet. There's actually a third kind you're gonna see, especially if you're a craft spirit fan, uh, are hybrid stills. And they look like this. So you'll see hybrid stills that allow you to do both. Now, hybrid stills are great if you're a small distiller and you wanna make brandy, you wanna make uh, high proof vodkas, you wanna make gin, things like that. So you are able to use a hybrid still in, in a myriad of ways so that you can create some really beautiful and varied spirits out of your distillery. But the one thing I really wanna stop and talk to you about now, because I would be remiss if we didn't go into this, is uh, heads, hearts, and tails. Now, if you remember, I'm talking about whiskey, you know, you were, were creating all those beautiful flavors through uh, that evaporation of molecules at different boiling points. We're condensing that back into a liquid again, uh, concentrated high, uh, high proof or high ethanol uh, amounts are in that spirit. It's almost like, you know, you heat it up and condense it again. It's like a faucet, right? We're going to be going and we're going to do that. But we don't just turn on that faucet and just, it just kind of condenses and drips out into a vat or a holding tank. That's not how it happens. We actually choose which part of the liquid we collect. So the first, the first parts of that distillate that are coming off the still we call heads, okay? Heads are uh, filled with a certain type of aromatic you actually don't want a lot of. It's also filled with methanol. So methanol and ethanol are, are sisters. They're like this. So you actually want to separate those out. And we can do that by distillation. Um, you're getting a lot of other uh, solventy or other smells and undesirable effects in your head. So those, are, those would be your molecules that are really able to get it up, up and over at a lower, a lower heating point, a lower temperature. Okay. Then at a certain time, we, we take that faucet, and in some places it literally is like a faucet. It looks like a, a imagine liquid falling out, and then the distiller comes along and it moves the nozzle right there like this, and now we're gonna collect something called the hearts. Uh, the hearts have all the really beautiful, lush flavors we want. It has uh, esters and fruits and the nice aromatics that we're looking for when we are looking for our, uh, a great whiskey. And then finally, it's turned again, and we are collecting something called the tails. Those are molecules that are boiling at a higher temperature. So uh, we want to collect those, but we don't want those in our heart because those tails have uh, some other, uh, acetone is one of them, a really pungent kind of, some of the hot and there's some fusel oils in there. I mean, just the sound of fusel oil doesn't even sound good. Um, you do want a little bit in there because it creates a, a nice oiliness in your whiskeys. Uh, but the art is how much of the little tails and the heads maybe do you include into the collection of the hearts to create a house character? Or do you do none and you're just a very, they call it a thin cut of the heart. And 
this is really where an experienced distiller comes in because they will understand and they will be able to nose or even on site, uh, sometimes there's discoloration. They're just gonna know when to make what they call the cut, right? So you want that center cut or you want that heart cut out of your whiskey. And a great distiller knows how to do that. It takes years and years of experience. It's also very intuitive for many of these distillers, which is why early on in the craft whiskey movement, we did see a lot of craft whiskey makers experimenting and having a tough time really reaching that optimal, I'd say, taste profile or smell profile they wanted because the distiller needed time to really understand where to make those cuts. An experienced distiller uh, really knows how to do that. And what we're seeing now though with the uh, craft distilling movement has been around for a while that we're now seeing them really come into their own and we're seeing some really beautiful whiskeys because the distiller now understands where to take those cuts off the still. Um, so now you have a good understanding, I hope, of what a pot still is, what a column still is, what a hybrid still is. So if the hybrid, you can just go back and watch the pot and the um, uh, column still and basically it's a combination of those. And now you know how the distiller takes the cut, uh, heads, hearts, and tails. And that concludes this class. If you like what you see, please subscribe. Uh, you will hopefully become your own whiskey expert by the end of this video series. And also, I want to tell you that most of you are really excited, I think, about casking, bourbon, what makes whiskey a whiskey in America versus scotch. Um, and that is the next grouping of videos. So stay with me, and I'm excited that you're here, and um, happy whiskey drinking.